this is Miss Cindy from the Crown Point Community Library and today I'm going to be bringing the librarian to your home with something a little bit unusual and different. So I have an interesting story time or children's activity program that I'm going to introduce you to. So when I'm not at the library in my free time one of the things that I like to do is I like to keep bees and a beekeeper is just somebody who um, has bee, has a beehive or more than one beehive on their property and they take care of them. They help them their colony to grow and um, it's really good for our planet. So I want to show you what I'm up to today and we're going to see how this is going to work. Um, I am going to attempt to insert I, my bees did not my bees that I had last year did not make it through the winter so I went today and picked up a new package of bees and I'm going to show that to you show you what it looks like and then um, I'm going to show you how I install them. It's going to be a little bit awkward because um, I don't have a tripod outside and I don't have a video cameraman right now and I'm trying to work between raindrops. So um, let's see how this works. So let me start by showing you the bees. So the, so the bees are in my car right now. This is a package of bees. There's probably about 10,000 bees inside that package. So it's 10,000 worker bees and then along with them inside there, there's a can of sugar water, which is giving them something to to drink uh, or food. And then there's also the queen is in there. And the bees are very calm at this point because they don't have anything to protect. Um, they're just protecting, they're just out to make sure that that queen is safe. And so wherever that queen goes, they're going to go. There may be some stray bees flying around, but they're all gonna stay relatively close to where that queen is. Okay, so here is my hive. And there are those bees. So Inside the hive, there's a box full of frames, and the frames are where the, the bees are going to make honey, where they're going to lay eggs, they're going to hatch new bees. Um, I have the bees covered up for right now because, like I said, it is raining, and um, I'm going to be getting the queen out, and I put the, that whole box that you saw, I'm going to put that right inside this package. Just... All right, so I took the top cover off. And now you see that there's like a can in there. That can is the sugar water that's with the bees are eating. And then this little piece right here, this is where the queen is going to be. She's going to be attached to this. So I'm going to go ahead and get her out and I'll show you what she looks like. Here is this cage where the queen is, and she's in there. She's a little bit hard to see because she has got all these other bees that just love her so much, and they want to give her all the attention. So they're trying to get in nice and cozy and close to her, but she's inside there. I'm going to show you. So on the end of this, there is a plug. There is a piece of cork, and when I take that out, I'm going to pull that piece of cork out, and when I pull that piece of cork out, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to put a marshmallow in there. There's a, so it'll be a piece of candy. And then the bees will actually eat through the marshmallow to let the queen get out. But we don't want her to get out too quickly. We want her to, to stay inside her cage for a little bit while the bees um, get settled into their new home. And then they'll let the queen out gradually. All right, so I replaced the cork with a piece of marshmallow. I'm going to put her inside and then take out their little box. All right, so there's the can. I took that out, and you can see inside, there's just lots and lots of bees. They're all coming out to meet me. The queen, she's down in there, waiting for her, her friends to let her free. And now I'm gonna close it up, put the lid back on, and then I'll come back out in a few days. The queen should be out of her cage, and uh, in down inside the hive, and the, all the bees will be out of this box and we will be making their new home. Okay, so this is me in my fancy little beekeeper costume. Um, the bees really wouldn't be bothering me. I don't really need the hood right now, um, but I have really crazy hair and I don't like when the bees get stuck in my hair. So here we are, me and the bees. We'll be back to check on them in a few days. Okay, so I am out by the bees. Um, I decided that I would come out here to read a story to them and to you. You'll see the hive in the background and you'll probably see a lot of bees flying around me. Um, that's because they're really happy. It's a nice warm day. They're happy to be in a new home and they're just trying to get their bearings and set their GPS so they'll know how to find their hive when they, when they leave. 
So the book I'm going to read is a book called Be, a peek through picture book by Britta Teckentrup, and it is published by Doubleday Books for Young Readers. Be, a peek through picture book, illustrated by Britta Teckentrup. Dawn is breaking on a brand new day, and in the meadow, poppies sway. A bee appears striped black and gold. A wonder of nature is about to unfold. In the treetops, the birds start to sing. The little bee beats her wings. As she travels here and there, a gentle humming fills the air. Back and forth, to and fro, bee knows exactly where to go. Visiting flowers of every hue, she has a special job to do. Gathering nectar as she goes, from every foxglove, every rose. Dusty with pollen, with the little bee, buzzes, buzzes busily. Bee travels on from bloom to bloom, drawn in by their sweet perfume. Harvesting flowers one by one, her compass is the midday sun. Among the orchard's apple trees, blossoms quiver in the breeze. Carrying pollen from place to place, bee always leaves a tiny trace. Flowers as far as the eye can see, too many flowers for just one bee. All of a sudden, bee is gone. She has a message to pass on. Back at the hive, bee spreads the news. There's work to be done, no time to lose. Listen for their gentle humming. The word is out, the bees are coming. Buzzing over the dense, Hedge grows past the pond where the wild thyme grows. Through the orchard's sweet smelling scent, the bees travel on with calm intent. As lilies glow orange in the sun, the bees must finish what they've begun. Stopping at every flower they find, leaving the gift of pollen behind. The bees pass over a woodland stream Droplets sparkle and pebbles gleam. Water trickles, bubbles, and weaves. A weeping willow trails its leaves. As the bees fly through the buds and burrs, a tiny miracle occurs. So many plants and flowers you see were given life by one small bee. Right, so that was the bee, a peek through picture book. Okay, so I am back looking in the hive. Um, you can see that the box is just about empty and the bees are all out. So I'm gonna take that out and we're gonna check on the queen. Okay, so there's one lonely bee still inside there where the queen was, he'll get out. But the queen is now out of the cage, which means that she's inside the hive. Here. You can see. So on the inside of the of the lid, the bees made this honeycomb. So you'll see the hexagon shape. And they did that. They just pulled that down from the top. So bees are constantly busy. So even just in those couple of days, they created that, which is really kind of cool. Okay, so I also have this container here, and that is sugar water, and that is for the bees. That is what the bees are going to be using for food while they're getting started. So they need some extra sugar water just to keep them going, especially right now because there's not a lot of things in bloom. So the sugar water feeder just sits right in the front of the hive. The bees can go into the hive from the bottom. No 
there's also a hole at the top where they can get in up there also. And you can see it's a nice sunny day. They're enjoying their new home. And at this point, I'll just leave them be for probably a week before I come back out and check and make sure that the queen is um, laying eggs and that everything is looking good inside the, inside the hive. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned a lot about bees. If you'd like more library resources, check out our library website at crownpointlibrary.org.